Welcome to week two of the Let's Play Summer School Fun Fantacular Festival of Arts. Uh, this week's game, this week's choice was to play a game either based on a comic, uh, an animated series, etc. Um, I'm playing something based off of manga, because Reed said that was okay. Um, based off of manga from the 70s into the 80s, also. Um, it's had a few animated series. Uh, this is one of the... I would say one of the weirder titles as far as Nintendo games are concerned, because Nintendo had very stringent uh, censorship back in those days, and this game is not censored very well, if at all. So, basic gameplay, you turn around, and we get to have one of our uh, precursors to a bunch of text screens. Now, growing up, I never really had very good Nintendo games. Um, I got cheap Nintendo games, whichever. And this game was one I got from KB Toys, which before um, it went out of business, they were doing a three for one day of NES games. So if you bought one NES game, you got two free. And uh, I bought Galago 13, uh, Low G Man, which is awful as well, and um, Three Stooges, which is eh, it's a board game type thing. But uh, I actually kind of like, there we go, alright, I kind of like Galago 13, um, just because I've learned how to play the hell out of it. The easier way, you go down, you can, ooh, hold on. They're very liberal, see if you go into one of these stations and there's no music, there's nobody there. But uh, they're very liberal with health and weapon power-ups. That guy wants to say something to you. Uh-huh. And because it's the Cold War era... Uh, that this is set in uh, KGB. Well, these guys will take off uh, a bit of health every time you get shot. And then this is the other type of gameplay, side-scrolling stage. Uh, just shoot them. It'll let you know, and like, it'll let you know who, what kind of enemy it is, like a rolling guy, a helicopter, or jet, boat, sharks, uh, tornadoes. Motorcycle guys are not worth the trouble. Just jump over them. This reminds me um, a lot of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde. And see, this station has music in it, so cutscene. You can't actually just leave unless there's nobody there. Like, if you know, you're like, oh shit, I went in the wrong place. You always have to turn around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, the basis, the background of this game is that um, a plane got shot down. They found a, that they found a gun similar to. Galago 13s, whose real name is Duke Togo, uh, gun there, and then it went from there. They're blaming him. Uh, this is the fastest that he moves. The easy way to tell if a guy is a good guy or a bad guy, which there's very rarely any good guys, just kick them. If they make that that noise and don't die, they're they're a bad guy. I mean, a good guy. Um, biggest complaints I could say about this game is just, uh, you can't really tell which buildings you can and can't go in. Like, I can't go in that building, but the building right before then I can go in. Alright, side-scrolling. So, you just go left to right here. Yeah, that guy flips. He's a gymnast. And then we have to take care of some helicopters. Oh, there we go, got it. But, um... I like the music in this game. Um, I think it's very good. Vic Tokai really didn't do anything in the NES era. They made a Shinobi game later. Just kick him in the face. 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 Alright. Romantic music. Ooh. That's more 60s than 70s, kind of. I don't know. I'll go 13. Uh huh. Tell me more. A snipper. Doing a few words, Duke Togo. Wouldn't have to do that. Uh huh. Better get your ass in gear, son. Uh huh. Ooh. And now we get to switch gears and do a different thing. Um, side scrolling shooter. The funny thing about this game is every time, the every time you die, uh, it says like 
act. It says chapter something, which means you only theoretically. Oh shit! I was using turbo in the. Uh, I'd practice around a little bit on this. I was using turbo on the other one just to save the wear and tear on my thumb, but uh, that emulator does not like recording with Camtasia, so we will stick it out with FCEU. Oh, what the hell! Phew. And you get this cool... Oh, sorry. Blown up jets. This is your cool pause screen. There's a level select cheat somewhere. I just... Eh, I never did it. It was one of those like Grand Theft Auto type codes where it was like L1, R1, L2, R2, select. Click the left stick in a circular motion. Whoa. But, um... What was I saying about Vic Tokai? They did a Shinobi game on Saturn I've not played, because um, I didn't have a Saturn until after the fact. And if you really want to flush some money down the toilet, not that they're bad games, just uh, Saturn collection is really expensive. Game Design 101, you always want to make sure that there's nothing going on on the screen for at least three to four seconds at a time. So when something comes on screen to attack, you're just like, finally I get to do something. Take that, Jets. Oof. Those Jets take 40 health a pop. But if you kill him, you get, I think, 50 health. Oh, no. Now we gotta fight. Gotta fight in the airplane. You jet. You helicopter. Oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so out of the three games that I got back in Yon Day, this was the least disappointing. Low G-Man is just awful. I think it's a Taxon game. Which Taxon, oh, barely. Taxon, uh, they made G.I. Joe the first one, which was pretty good. And Three Stooges, uh, if I can go off on a tangent here for a second, Three Stooges was made by a game, a game company called Cinema... CinemaWare. And uh, they made Defender of the Crown. Um, any pretty, pretty much any shitty kind of cinema game they made. And they brought the company back... Oh, hold. They brought the company back in, like, 2000-something and tried to reboot all these properties, and it's like they didn't realize it or didn't play the old games and realize that they were shit. All right, so we're going to snipe this guy. You would think, like, hey, there's a guy right... Nope, it's not that building. So for NES standards, this little scene, pretty pretty bad. You blow his head off, and you see the blood. Between this and the hamster getting microwaved in Maniac Mansion, spoilers, I know, what I prefer to do is uh, sometimes they give you, like, like, this will say Brandenburg Gate. Yaw! Like, I'm taking a picture. Fuck you. But, uh, between that and the hamster getting blown up in Market Maniac Mansion, it's like any NES era Nintendo. Oh, you can kick those. Nintendo, uh, editing not always consistent. And the swastika level in Legend of Zelda not getting changed. Fuck you. Spree River. So now, we've saved Condor. Jesus, Jesus. Alright, stop. Okay. There's an old, uh, oh shit, there's one guy left. He's still just wailing on me. Quickly! There he is. Huh? There's an old game called Empire City 1939. Uh, look it up if you ever get the chance. An old car arcade game. This is what these segments remind me of. Because, uh, our, uh, Empire City is a first person. You're like shooting at windows and such, and uh, you have a dodge button. And it used to be in the Peter Piper Pizza near my house. I used to play the shit out of it. Now for the year, longest time, I forgot what it was called. Okay, you don't want to go in there. Oh, come here, come here. I just want to kill you. Okay. Jesus. Take 30, 30 hit. I think there's another gun guy coming up. Yep. All right. At least they give a ton of health when they die. Jumping. There we go. There we go. Oh, no, it's just helicopters. But yeah. Like, my, my lineup of games that I remember having as a kid on NES was like, I got Zelda, I got Punch-Out, and of course uh, the bundle I bought came with the uh, Duck Hunt and Mario. But after that it was like Friday the 13th, Metal Gear, which as much as I love that game, it's not a very good game. But I'm not taking the I'm not taking the road of it's 
just a bad translation. It's just not a very good game. Um, pretty much anything made by uh, LJN, I had at some point. I had a uh, Town and Country Designs. I had God dang, there's a lot of them. Am I going the wrong? No, right here. You gotta go all the way back to the beginning of the level, pretty much. Right here. Kick. Wrong one. Turn around, Duke. Um. What other? I had a uh, Major League Baseball for ML by uh, LJN. God. And the thing that sucks is like, okay, you can't skip any of these little sequences, because like, uh, if you leave the screen and refresh, it just is an automatic trigger. I had X Men for a while too on LJN. It was just like, fuck. And back then, you know, it's like. If you're an adult or if you're a kid with rich parents at this point, you know, you're going to get... Y'all, oh, kicking them in the balls. You're going to get whatever games you want. Like, I have a backlog, probably like, you know, 50 games. But back then, you got one game, maybe two a year, your birthday and Christmas. And if it sucked, you're just pissed off. So now we're at Potsdam Station, going to meet Condor for the first time. Got big black... uh bags under his eyes. I don't know if he's tired or if he got beat up. It's not, you know. Uh-huh. Okay, somebody shot him from the side and Galago's not going to do anything. He's just going to kind of... Just leave that body there. That's cool. Reminds me of uh, Jekyll and Hyde. Uh, I have to talk to him again. I played that game too, but that was I rented that. You know, I thank God I dodged that bullet. Which I that, the first time I played that Doctor Jekyll, Mister Hyde, I got turned into Jekyll right off the bat, and then immediately died because I passed where Hyde. I, I passed where Jekyll was as Hyde, as I mess up my literary characters. God, I should go off a script or something. I don't understand how you'd be able to drop kick a motorcycle, but game logic. See, and the thing is, too, is like, because those guys crouch, you can't shoot them. So you're better off just kicking everything. So now Condor's dead. We're going to be heading to the hotel to meet up with Cherry Fixer. I don't want to talk to you. Is it this one? Yep. Alexander Hotel. He's dressed so snappily. Snappily. Uh, dude, you're blowing my cover. And then we have more romantic music. I guess that Galago 13 is just a stud like that. Doesn't need to, uh. Yeah. He did. Vaccine file. Yeah. Is this foreplay? I don't know. Why would you want scuba gear and a, and a dart gun? Uh-huh. Okay. And then your life slowly crawls back up. This is the second part of the kind of like weird censorship in Nintendo. I mean, obviously even as a young child I knew what that meant. I could not believe that there was a video game that had sex in it. Heck, the first time you, whoa, the first time I played Riddick and that guy just started cussing, I was I was just shocked. It was the F word, and I didn't know what to do. So we're gonna head to the right and look for the the uh, Spree Mansion. Oh God, you guys! I just wish you'd stop. Oh, helicopter time! Head for the Spree Mansion so we can find the secret hideout. Come on, helicopter. Nope, keep going. So isn't this an exciting game? Ooh, that's a bad guy. Just by his furrowed brow, I can see. Dead. Dead. Do, 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 do. Just the mansion? Yep. Turn around. Ooh. She's a different kind of color. Maybe she's gonna... 
Oh no, she's an old lady. It said mansion, you call it a palace. This is the best. You know, I've seen some really bad translations on NES. At least they hired the one at least English speaker. I'll go 13 in scuba gear. Sounds exciting. And I think there's 25 acts in this game. I've never really been able to. Wow. We're just gonna ignore. I mean, you can shoot them. It's really easier to just kind of ignore them. Those will hurt you. You sh Oof. Good God, I need to kill some of them now. Okay. Uh, you should know that those things will hurt you from Ninja Turtles. And, uh, oh. Coming up on the 16 minute mark, I'm going to cut this video off here. Uh, thank you for watching, and this has been my week two video.